and welcome everyone. As we set out on these three remarkable days, I would like to share a story about a surprising and extraordinary force that bends the arc of history. It is the force that drives a master sculptor, unseen yet ever-present, sculpting, shaping, molding, and reimagining the world, carving new and beautiful paths and breathing life and purpose into them. It is the same force that sets thoughts on fire in the mind of a silent and resourceful architect. Searching, inventing, and building. Relentlessly looking to improve and simplify how we live and move in this world. And it is this same force, I believe, that drives each and every one of us here today to search and build solutions to the challenges we face through our work or simply by being here at x -Day and helping carve the path ahead. This, my friends, is the story of technology. Throughout history, technology has inexorably served as the cornerstone of human progress, illuminating our path and reshaping civilizations. From the discovery of fire that kindled the dawn of civilization, the birth of written language that immortalized our shared stories, memories, and lessons, the shaping of the first stone tools that multiplied our resources and ambition a thousandfold, the discovery of electricity that lit up the world, and the advent of the computer age and global internet that linked minds and heartbeats across continents. Each of these technologies have time and again puzzled, challenged, and reimagined the way we live. Yet beneath the surface lies a deeper truth, that technology, with every tool we've forged, isn't just a resounding engine of progress. It is a testament to the unyielding human drive for improvement, prosperity, and goodwill. But like the fish living its entire life in water and remaining blind to it, we have lost sight of the technologies that make our lives livable and add a touch of magic to them. It is technology which, in the face of hunger, offers sustenance through fortified crops and advanced irrigation systems. It is technology which, in the midst of illness, brings healing through breakthrough medication and life-saving treatments. It is technology which, in the depth of poverty, provides hope through new tools bringing financial opportunity and empowerment. It is technology which, through global classrooms, open to us all, accelerates the path of learning and gives rise to new industries that fuel the engine of economic growth. Some may argue that technology is a double-edged sword, and I am the first to agree with that. 
but I would argue its undeniable benefits overwhelmingly tip the scale. For every fleeting shadow it may cast, technology shines a thousand beams of light, proving itself a formidable ally in the quest for a brighter, more prosperous tomorrow. In the grand tale of human existence, from the crude tools chiseled out of stone to the epic rockets that drive us into deep space, technology is our magnum opus. It is the culmination of every dream dreamt, every challenge faced, and every victory won. While nature gifted us with the instinct to survive, technology that has endowed us with an unparalleled power to thrive. As we look back at the countless hills we've climbed and milestones we've achieved, let us not forget it is through technology that we've transformed not just our surroundings, but our very essence. From mere inhabitants of Earth, we became its architects. From dreamers, we became builders. From consumers, we became makers. But while the marvels of technology are undeniably transformative, it is collective adoption that breeds life into the tools we make. It is one thing to craft an instrument, but another entirely for society to learn and wield it effectively. One thing to build a piano, yet another entirely to write and play symphonies that echo across eternity and uplift the soul. One thing to create a computer, and another entirely to use it to calculate the trajectory to the moon and toil for years to build rockets and land us there. But for every groundbreaking invention, countless lie dormant, never reaching their full potential due to hesitation, resistance, lack of focus or vision. Too many technological marvels remain on the periphery, their potential untapped, simply because the bridge between invention and application has not been built. A tool, no matter how advanced, holds little power if left untouched or misunderstood by the hands it was meant to serve. Societies thrive not just by inventing, but by integrating, by taking the abstract wonders of innovation and weaving them into the tangible fabric of everyday life. We must, therefore, build these bridges both literal and figurative, to ensure that technological progress translates into real-world betterment and improvement. Everything depends on these bridges. The rate of our societal progress rests on their construction. Fail to build them, and technology's promise remains but a fading mirage. Succeed, and this era may become one of such roaring progress and growth that many, many generations after, our children and their children may still marvel at what we as a society have achieved. Standing at the crossroads of our time, three 
special technologies rise above all others. Blockchain, AI, and spatial computing. These aren't just tools. They each represent vast gateways of uncharted territory, holding keys to unlocking dimensions of human experience and interaction previously only dreamed of. Yet like all tools of great promise, their potential remains but a flicker until we decide to act and decisively harness their power. I see a day where each and every one of us, each and every one sitting here in this room is gifted a digital assistant working with and for us, acting as an extension of our innate genius, amplifying our very thoughts and igniting sparks of creativity we never imagined. I see a day where money works for us, not against us. Digital, global, instant, transparent, and accessible to all fellow humans. A financial system that automatically stores and multiplies our value, enabling the life we always dreamed of living. I see a day opening a constellation of digital worlds in front of our eyes, not as mere escapes, but as vibrant, fulfilling realms where every thought, every emotion, every connection feels just as real and as intense as the handshake of an old friend or the warmth of a shared memory. Expanding and infinitely enriching, but never replacing our physical world. But these visions are not self-fulfilling. We stand at a turning point, the horizon shimmering with vivid potential. The question is not whether these technologies will shape the future, but whether we will play a role in it. Whether we will have the presence, the courage, and determination to act. Whether we will seize the opportunity, master the technology, and channel in its transformative power into tangible improvements. For Europe, for Romania, and for every other part of the world. Will this be our moment of clarity? Or will we stumble in indecision and let our greatest of opportunities pass? 10 or 20 years from now, looking back, how will we remember this moment? What will we tell our children and grandchildren when they will ask what we have fought and stood for? Let's tell them we were the architects, builders, and makers of these technologies. Let's tell them we were not content with just inhabiting, just dreaming, and just consuming. Let's tell them we were the ones who tried and failed 100 times, then tried again. Let's tell them we built the bridges that put these tools in the hands of every human so that everyone 
can become a builder, a maker, or an architect to master their own fate and forge a better future. Let's tell them X-Day is where it all began. Thank you.